Welcome parents, grandparents, whoever happens to be watching this video. Uh, thanks for taking a moment to see how you can impact the next generations. As I look back over my time in ministry, there is one thing that I realize that I don't think I have done a great job at, and I can admit it. It's parent ministry. Now, I believe in parent ministry, and I believe that parents are the greatest influence on their kids, but I don't think I've truly done enough to help you as a parent to be that influence on your kids. Why do I think this is so important? Not just because research says so, because I can look at kids that have come through my ministry and see the ones that have, how they've been impacted as they've grown up and the impact that their parents have had on them. But there is lots of research that also backs this up. I wanna share two things with you. The first is that just 1% of students aged 15 to 17 raised by parents who attached little importance to their religion were highly religious when they became adults, which basically says it's very rare for a kid to not go to church as a, a kid and then go to church as a adult. And then the second one is that the opposite, 82% of children raised by parents who talked about faith at home, who attached great importance to their beliefs and were active in their congregations, those kids were religiously active as young adults. So what you do matters. Now, at this point, maybe you're feeling a little bit of, whew, this is hard, this is pressure, and I get it. I have three kids, and I often wonder, am I doing enough? And the answer is probably, no. And sometimes I'm doing well and other times life has gotten busy and I have not put the emphasis on it that I need to. And so that's where this video starts and videos that are going to come. We want to share things with you to help you make the most of your time at home, raising your kids and growing their faith. We're going to be giving you resources that we have to help you in this journey. And if there's anything we can do along the way, please feel free to reach out and ask. Today, I want to talk about the first resource and a resource that I think is very helpful. And, and I'm not going to say the greatest, but, but it's a great resource. And that is the Parent Q app. You can find the Parent Q app and we'll link to it below uh, wherever you get your apps. But here's what the Parent Q app does. It actually does a lot of things, but I'm going to focus on two things it does and one thing it does that will probably make you a little sad, but two great things it does. The first one is, is that it gives you prompts during the week to help you with regular things that you do in your life to talk with your kids uh, as you go through the day. Uh, prompts for when you're driving, prompts for at mealtime, prompts for bedtime, and just uh, as you go through the day. And each week, they, these four prompts, they change. And so whether you, uh, maybe you didn't make it to church this week, or maybe you're watching this video and you don't even go to my church, that's all right. That's where these prompts are very handy because they're not tied to what we're learning specifically on Sunday mornings or Sunday evenings. You can use them whether you use our curriculum or come to Sun School or Foundry or not. The second part is it does have stuff that is tied to what we are teaching. If you are preschool or elementary school, uh, then you can go back and watch the videos that we watched on Sundays. It also has the memory verse and it has links to God times you can do with your elementary kids and parent cues that you can use as a parent. Some of the information on your parent cues uh, is what is included in this app. If you have a middle school or a high schooler, it links up with what we are teaching with on we're teaching on Foundry on Sunday nights. It has the, the Bible verse that goes along with our lesson as well as a link to um, a devotion you can find within the Bible app. And I think it's a great way to interact with your kid through technology, which they love anyway. And the third thing is that, this is the sad part, it does provide a countdown with how many weeks you have left with your kid before they graduate. Now, it is sad to watch those weeks as they go down, but... It's a great reminder that we need to make the most of the time that we have with our kids. 
Now, one of the things we're going to start doing along with this is we're going to start sending through the app notifications to your phone to help you remember, because I know we get busy, to remember to, to follow these prompts. And so you got to make sure your notifications are on to get the prompt, but we want to prompt you, and I'm not going to do this every day, but two or three times a week, you should get a prompt that helps you remember, hey, I need to have a faith conversation with my child. Right there, easy for you to do. So make sure you look below and download the app. Or if you're at church, I'll be happy to show you where it is. And if there's anything else I can do, please feel free to ask or reach out. Hope you have a blessed day.